The people of Dominica. 25 degrees. Why am I not there? I thought we'd start early so I could uh, go back and watch some goals of the week. Basically, we're just going to watch two of them. The one that came third and first like, this week. Oh, what a ripper. And then this one. Good morning, Francisco. Yeah, definitely afternoon for me. Morning. Oh, what a strike that was. Man, the glory days for the Ducks. Back when we could win. Any others jump out that we want to watch? Ah, oh, this one was lovely, wasn't it? The Cancelo Cannon. Poor. Oh, lovely job. Right, two o'clock. Let's go. Elves versus Tiki Taka Toa. Uh, I didn't catch it. Are elves in the flying V? I, by the looks of it, Fakir, Fakir. Oh, Tiki Taka Toa come into this one of only two teams to have lost their last three, them and the post Christmas Knoll. So, uh, not the start Tiki Taka Toa were hoping for in an attempt to turn the tables on their on their form the question of will Tiki Takatoa somehow miss the split genuinely could happen very very unlikely oh Benzema oh see there's Benzema getting more XG but failing to convert. Not doing himself any favours. Thank God for Victor O'Simon, I guess. Oh, buongiorno, Liam. Should be Benzema. Yeah, it, it's a tried and tested technique, isn't it? Benzema on the left. If you want success. To be fair, the elves are winning. I don't think they'll be too upset. <laughs> Although, since. That Benzema effort, Tiki Taka Toa seems to have surged to life, according to the stats. Big Rom leads the league in XG, does Big Rom. Vinaldum converting there. Pogba. Oh! Pogba's having himself a good year. Very good year for Pogba. Naby Keita's also got weirdly high XG. Elves, just very good at creating chances. Oh, Benzema scored! Holy shit. Alert the press. Benzema scored two goals in three games. He's back. Season 1, Benzema, back in the saddle. <laughs> I've just realised the first, what, four seasons of Gobshot League didn't have XG. Remember how excited we were to get XG in Season 5? 
crazy to think that Gobshite League existed pre-XG. Let's make you feel old. Well, Tiki Takatoa slumped to a fourth consecutive defeat at the hands of Kareem Benzema. I remember Mage being... Yeah, Mage, Mage loves XG. Speaking of... Spalletti Ball has... is undefeated. Absolutely dumpstered Tiki Taka but that's becoming less and less impressive by the week. And did fail to beat Surreal. Two teams that failed to win against Surreal squaring off here. <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking that. El, El Naziri does not feel like a real person. He's a striker? I think? Oh my god, mate. How has this ball made it to Grealish? Also, to be fair, Mike, the Ducks game is a contender for the greatest Gobshite League game ever. And we're in season 11 now, and that, that is up there with the best of the best. So you can't be too upset about it. I would have been fine losing that one. It was an all-time classic. Ooh. I'm beginning to lose faith in Spilletti Ball. Yeah, Spilletti Ball is dead. He's got 45 caps. How have I never heard of this man? Does he just like play in the Moroccan league or something? All right, that's all. No, he's played in Spain like his entire career. Plays at Sevilla. Of course he plays at Sevilla. Have fun, Mike. Yes, that was good. But again, nothing. It's just the sheer absurdity of everything that happened in the Ducks Tiki Taka Toa game. It just. It's an experience watching it. <laughs> oh, Roddy at the back post. Spilletty ball, showing signs of life. We'll always have that Monday Night Magic as. Oh, if you've not seen it, watch it. It was um, the last game of... I think it was the last game before Christmas, right? It was the last game of the Christmas Eve stream. And it was the ultimate Christmas present. Yeah, Wama did put a link in the chats. It... Yeah. Oh, that that just adds another element to it, doesn't it? The last game on Christmas Eve was that. Oh, Chesley saves the penalty. Maychester still in with a chance. It was so funny because there was only like me, George, and Jojo watching. I was just we were just sitting there going, "Everyone's missed this, and it's incredible." <laughs> <gasps> oh, Mate, save the penalty but forget to capitalise and go on to score an equaliser Llamas are back Mate, not finishing 6th Mate, not in the cut Big one at the top here Ah, oh, the Lossios awake it. Some of Roluca's finer work. 
Suarez. Disappointing finish here. Well, I know pigs aren't finishing fifth. The SS are finishing fifth. Yeah, twice. You wore it yesterday. So if you just watched yesterday's game, you definitely wore it then. Basically, I think you're only wearing it against... I think you wore it against... Weasels as well. Which kind of makes sense. If you wore it against Los Eos, you probably have to wear it against the Weasels. <laughs> Given that they have the same home kit. Oh, Papu. Top 10. Ah, oh, top 10's back from injury. No more Tammy Abraham to score late winners. I guess you could bring Tammy off the bench to score the late winner. Yeah, Papu was back yesterday as well, I think. Enjoy, Liam. And don't forget to watch the Ducks Tiki Taka Toe game when you get a chance. It is that good. <laughs> this has been a cagey affair between two two teams trying to chase down the dogs the menace in another tight one the menace this season remind me of that those times when half man under Brendan Rodgers were good you know when every game would just be like 1-0 they'd grab a goal and then just try to strangle the life out of it Getting that sort of vibe from the menace this year. Emmy, long ball forward. Luis Diaz. Oh, Tammy Abraham for another late winner. Oh, almost a third consecutive late winner for Tammy there. Kimmick. First round pick, Brozovic. Goes backwards. Foolishly allows the referee to blow the whistle. And a dull nil-nil draw. And another player of the match for Emmy Martinez. I think he's leading the league in them. What a season for the keeper. The Pythons le are the informed team at the minute. Four consecutive wins coming into the week. Off the back of Jeffrey finding his scoring boots. And he goes again can't stop scoring at the minute just six minutes required for Jeffrey to get another one that one very fortuitous <laughs> Jeffrey broke it <laughs> oh Virgil Why does it not show me just like his last five? I'm sure it used to just show you like the last five games. Ah. Sad. I feel like he's got about six goals in the last five games. Pythons very much back in the thick of the title race if they win this. Ansu Fati forces a good save out of Donald Roma. Oh, 
Do an embargo, Sancho. Not really sure we're trying. Here we go. Chance here for Barcelona, perhaps. Salah versus the world. Cancelo and Salah. Oh, fast loader again, something done it. Chiesa's in the box. Oh. Okay, good ball in Chiesa. No. It's good stuff. Oh, Chiesa's hit the post. End to end stuff, it's still a highlight. How is this? Okay, it's not, it's not still a highlight, Jesus Christ. That might have been the longest highlight ever to not have a goal. Cancelo. Ooh. Mignan. Mo Salah. Oh, Pythons didn't look comfortable defending that ball in then. At the risk of jinxing it, Barcelona looked far more likely to equalise than concede a second. Oh, what a ball! Chiesa, take me to cheese! What a season for Federico Chiesa. Big big breakout performance for the Italian this year. The one shining light in a very shitty Barcelona season. I say that. Barcelona have one point less than me and a considerably better goal difference. Oh my lord. What a free kick. This did not look like it was going in at any point. This is about when I realised it had gone in. It, it might go in, even. This was, th at this point, I was like, oh, it might go in. Every point up until then, wide. Here I am saying the Pythons, the only team with four consecutive wins... They're back in the title race and they're going to throw away a lead against Barcelona. Is there anything more whammer than this? Oh my god, somebody stop Jeffrey. Jeffrey playing like a man possessed. Bales whammer out once again. No, it's not offside. It's nowhere near offside. I'm sure we'll get to watch it a fifth time. Oh, Tony Cruz injured. That could be a problem for the Pythons going forwards. Well, the Pythons rescue a point. Yeah, that wheel lad, pretty good. Big fan of George doing the Take Me To Chi song, but not singing Where We Go either time. Appreciate that. Sirs and Halfman, two teams in the bottom half in very good form. Ever since Conte's been getting email saying he has to win, he has been. Sirs, looking like they're probably going to make the split if they continue their, their decent form. Gone, oh my lord, Timo Werner leaping like a salmon. He's found his, his shooting boots. It's weird that we say, like, leaping like a salmon. Rather than, you know, some of the animals that actually jump. My wife's not, like, leaping like a frog. Frogs jump a lot more than salmons do. It's 
Is this finally going to be the end for Antonio Conte? Is he going to start his little boat-based journey to Montserrat? Hike up the side of the volcano? Yeah, they leap, but not really. Like, not frequently. Here comes Theo. Ball in. Oh, to Mendy. Timo. Oh, slots it home. Timo. Timo's back? Or... Half manager shit. Unsure. Oof. Pepe. FC Sir's looking very comfortable here. They're in no rush to see out the last 10 minutes. Well, Perisic has dived in, which has given Ben Yedda the opportunity. Okay, Valverde! Oh, what a bosh. What a bosh. <laughs> it didn't, like, ping as much as you would expect for a bosh, but I feel like this is just inside the requirements of a bosh. Howdy Whammer. Jeffrey Weir continues to save your blushes. Looks like it might finally be the end for Conte. Sirs are, are good again. Bye Francisco. Speaking of the SS finishing fifth, a win here. We'll see them right up amongst the top five. It did finish 2-2. You looked all over them for like the first half an hour. Then Barcelona decided they wanted to be good. And then they looked much, much better than you. And Jeffrey grabbed a late equaliser. Oh, the SS are in their away kit. Uh, I don't think so. It was only like 164 when I looked yesterday, I think. But, like, his form has got him playing well. Right? Like he's, he's hit a, a hot streak, for sure. Duvan. Duvan, doing it all himself. Duvan does dribble. Dribbles past defenders. The looping cord. Oh, Milan! How's he not managed to keep that header down? I don't know. He scored 21 goals last year. For Oh, Duvan! Oh, what a save, Rui P! With an incredible double save. How has Vinicius not scored? Oh my. P 
Pig's gonna be wondering how they're not winning. What's Yala? Fine, Stuvan. Vinny. Why are all the Pig's players just stood next to each other and not moving? Oh, how did that pass make it to SMS? Oh, what a pass. Vinny. Cuts it across. Rodri thumps it home. Pigs take the lead, and deservedly so. The SS have not looked like a top five team today. Ten Hag in. Mbappe. Okay, Robertson, ball in. St. Max? Oh! St. Max can't header for Toffee. Single digits headering, surely. Yeah, five. Not the player you want in that position. Rupee and Matip. Okay. Decent stuff here. Danny Ings plays it through. Erdegaard. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. The SS are back level. The pigs have seemed non-existent so far in the second half. Are they going to rue their chances from the first half where they only managed to score one? Narrow diamond time. Oh, Aspas. Good idea. Didn't quite pull it off, though. Gives the ball to the pigs. Here we go. Duvan oh, loses the ball. Here we go, Zinchenko. Oh, it's through Zinchenko with a chance to win it for the SS. Denied by a great save from Simon. Mbappe to take the corner, though. Oh, Rodri heads away. Danger averted. Look at that. Points shared. An opportunity missed for both teams. Here come the Ducks. No will have lost their last three. Let's see if we can make it four. We're at home. We're actually a football team when we play at home. Alberto's back in midfield. Ashley Young at left back. Oh yeah, Davies got sent off, didn't he? No idea. This is good stuff. Oh, Hakami. I thought Alberto had a bosh in him then. Oh, what? How is how is Frank Kessie just getting out-muscled by Zhao Fi What? What's the point in Frank Kessie if he's just going to get shoved off the ball by Zhao Felix? Also, how is that not a free kick? He just absolutely manhandles him. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Strength 19. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Strength 10. This is bullshit. This is... This is unreal. He just grabbed him, throws him around, pulls him back so he can't get the ball. Oh. And now nothing's happening. Brilliant. Absolutely wonderful stuff, this.
What are my team doing? Oh my god, my team is so shit. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, a highlight. I can't wait for us to lose the ball and this actually be a null goal again. Oh. Oh my god, Ricky. We all had such high hopes for Ricky, but he has been a fucking monumental disappointment. Ah oh, yes, we've got Fred on. We'll be fine now. In Fred we trust. Got messy. Don't you dare referee. Don't you fucking dare. Okay. It stands. Messi's back. Right, we got we got what? Eight seven eight minutes to score a second. Come on. Do something. Yeah, or don't, or don't. Okay. Guess we'll just take a point against Norwall. Great. Great. That game was bullshit, wasn't it? Weasels now with a big opportunity. Tiki Taka Toa lost. Menace and Eos drew. Big, big chance to cement themselves as the main challenger to the dogs. Are they going to stake a claim as the first ever back to back champions? The first ever three time champions. That would really shut up Hadley's We're the Goat arguments, wouldn't it? Back to back league wins. Oh, Zlatan. <laughs> Surreal really struggling to fill the stadium. <laughs> They've got a massive one. But seem to have a bit of an issue with the fact that none of the fans want to go to their games. To be fair, Lucky is in the Benzema and um, Victor O'Simmon category for massive disappointments in terms of failing to, to meet their XG. Uh oh, Kurt Zuma. Getting a bit handsy in the box. Penalty to Surreal. Who takes these? Pedro Leon? Yeah. Barisic. Borna Barisic tucks away his goal. Have fun putting him into the database, George. Because let's be honest, Borna Barisic probably not in the database. Unless that's secretly not his first goal of the season. Could be a fake first goal of the season. Oof. Right, he couldn't find bench. Always find when players score their first goal, they're not in the database and it's against the Weasels. Little insult to injury there. Oh, he scores a pen. 
he concedes a pen. It's been an action packed first half for Borisic. Chiro. Immobile. Oh, says the keeper the wrong way. Chiro, go brrr. We were all worried about Chiro not scoring. Did we all just forget that Chiro never scores in the first few months? He always needs time to warm up. Did we just forget that? I feel like we we all forgot that when we wrote him off. Oh, his enormous normness. On at half time. Oh, Barella off the bar. Bench lays off Verratti. Oh. Verratti <laughs> tries a second time. Still can't get it through the defence. Here he is, big Norm. Lazzari. Barella. Romagnoli. Chiro. Oh, go on, Norm. Oh, Norm gets himself an assist. Chiro gets himself a second 13th goal of the year. Weasels cruising. Norman Onyango may well eclipse Lucky at this rate. Baragi, Barisic, oh, he gets himself a second, Borna Barisic. Scored two, conceded a pen. All action day for the Croat. Good day at the office for Chiro Mobley though, two goals and an assist. Chilwell. Okay, Chiro. Bench. Oh no, that's Barilla. Here's Bench. Oh what a ball. Bellotti! Almost a beam based goal. Were it not for a very good save from Fraser Foster. Hit the bar last time. This one millimeters wide. Feel like Borella's gonna get one today. Bench nods it down. Oh, Bellotti is denied once again by a great save from Fraser Foster. Romagnoli, nothing doing. Here he is, Norman. Lays it back for Barella. Good ball in. Bellotti. No save this time. From Fraser Foster. But will he be saved by the linesman's flag? He will not. Big. Can Lucky do this? This is why you play Bellotti instead of Lucky. Chiro, mildly offside. Ah, Lucky's on. <laughs> Your reward for scoring is being hauled off. What can Lucky do? Cut a cross. Oh, denied an assist on Chiro's hat trick. Barella with the corner. Lazzari. Lucky and Lazzari. Ball in. Looking for Chiro. Nothing there. Barella. Ball in. Oh, Norman! Norman! Razor Foster's made a couple of great saves. That has to be said.
Weasel's going backwards. Ah, find some space. Now they can go forwards. Chilwell, can he get a ball into the middle? Both the kids are waiting. Koyate thumps the clearance away. Here we go. Barella's been getting closer and closer. This is the one. I knew it. I knew we was going to get one today. You could tell. You could just tell. And then we get this one in the 95th minute. Sometimes I think I might actually be psychic. Good, comfortable win that for the Weasels. Okay, Harland and Coutinho linking up. Nice. Oh, great tracker back from Leon Bailey. Victoria Simon in a casual one versus seven, unable to get anything done. So much space for Digne up here. And Yaki Williams looked very offside, it must be said. He looked very offside. And he was. Oh, Coates is denied by the save. Harland with the tapping. But was Harland offside? I don't think so. He came from miles back, didn't he? Yeah, this one was a weird one to check because it felt like he wasn't. Ah, I guess maybe they're checking the state of Johnny Evans. KDB. Oh, Fabinho up from the back. Rises up. Not so my first. I don't believe it's his first ever wedge goal. Don't believe that for a little, even a little bit. But perhaps. Oh, the long throw. Not something we get to see anywhere near as much as I'd like. Coutinho. Ball in Inyaki. And the BBC restored their lead. Where's Arvel? Okay, loses it. Cavani. Riddler Baku. Ball across. Oh my lord. Okay, the defender got a touch. Okay, that's a bit better. I thought I thought that was Cavani's shot then. And that was not going to be kind. Leon Bailey. Do you remember those... There was like two seasons where Leon Bailey was absolutely incredible. Do you remember those? Those were the days. Leon Bailey, decidedly credible these days. Oh, terrible pass. KDB intercepts. Can't get Victor loose. Oh, Leon Bailey. Just far too heavy a touch. Let's the defender swoop in and take it. Both teams just so sloppy in possession. Neither team wants to do anything. Oh, and it ends with Dunye getting sent off. 
that highlight was a good summation of these two teams. Just really sloppy and terrible decision making. Oh, Mason Mount fails to convert. Oh yeah, I, I agree. He deserved to be sent off. It's just, it's just, I just don't know why he decided that decision needed to be made. Like, if you just wait another twenty seconds, Wedge will give your team the ball anyway. Given the way things are going. Well, one last chance, perhaps. The BBC, despite being down a man, gonna find a way. Oh, Cavani. Oh! That did not look comfortable, that finish. Shooting across his body. Oh, I did. I get it. Because his name's Dinho, which is in the middle of undignified. Wait, is that... It's undignified NIF. Have you, have you Maybe I just oh yeah, no, I missed that. Yeah, fair play. That's on me. Yeah, it is. Oh dear, oh dear, what am I like, eh? Joja, big, big fan of, really wants Calvin to win the league, I guess. Well, Sadio Mane looking to fix his poor goals versus XG differential. Are the Manx going to miss the split for the second year in a row? The once mighty Manx. Oh, Big Bob's back! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Put the rest of the league on notice. Big Bob's drought is over. This could be the start of something very, very bad for fans of teams that aren't the Manx. If Big Bob wakes up again. Admittedly, um, Morata's been benched for Firmino, so I guess that that era is over. Maybe, maybe now that there's no Morata to be the best, Big Bob's like, fine, I'll do it again. Have it, Galan. Bobby from no. Di Lorenzo. Oh, what is Luke Shaw doing? Just gifting, gifting the lead back to the dogs. Carlos Soler. Oh, great penalty. Great penalty. Tucks it away. in you at the corner oh big bob gets a second he's back 
It's party bob now. Is Maretta injured? Is that why they keep going with Firmino and Berardi? He must be injured, right? Wow, a huge, huge week for the Weasels. The only team in the top five to win. Seventh also dropped points. Massive, massive week. For the weasels. Now a two point gap for the split. Was anyone sacked? Yes, Conte. Ten Hag lives another day. Right then. Um, I love you and leave you. We hope it's Fabio time. We hope. I can't wait to get him in and him just play boring football though. Right, be good. Much love. I'll see you on the flip side. Diddle.